I've watched so many YouTube videos about Tmux, but no one seems to be talking about the display pop-up command that Tmux gives us. So I wanted to make a quick video just talking about what this is and why I've found it so useful. And so at its core, what this is, is just a simple command that Tmux gives us to be able to open a floating terminal. And so like any other terminal, you can enter commands and they'll all run just as expected. Now with the floating terminal, you'll see I can also click and drag the window to any position on my screen, which is super nice. And most crucially, I still have the previous window that I was on beneath the floating terminal. Um, so this makes the, the floating terminal or the floating pop-up window super helpful just for quick one-off operations. And so what I wanna do here is just show you a couple uh, commands that I've set up with key bindings in my tmux configuration file. And these are things that I've been using nonstop as I've been um, working on a couple projects. And so the first one that I have here is this binding that's going to run the lazy git command. And so you may or may not be familiar with this, but lazy git is just a way to interact with a GitHub repository. And so um, if I go ahead and find my way to um, a project of mine, I can go ahead and make some changes, like adding new lines, for example. And if I execute the key binding, you'll see I have this floating pop-up window now. And so now I can go through and stage files if I want. I can make a commit and I can go ahead and push it all from this floating terminal. And when I hit Q to quit, it's going to put me right back where I was, which is just super convenient. Um, so, you know, obviously the alternative here is just to create a whole nother window and then do all of my, you know, git status, git add, git commit, and so on, which is not super ideal, especially for something you do so often. Now, the next command that I have here is one that allows me to create a tmux session um, by using control N. And so it asks me for a session name here. Um, I will call it something, hit enter. And then you'll notice it has automatically switched me to this new tmux session um, after creating it, of course. Uh, so super helpful. Um, I never remember the command to create a new session. Um, I, I'm also always forgetting the command to switch sessions, which is why I made another pop-up for that. Um, and so you can see here, I have a fuzzy finder, which is just going to allow me to type the name of one of the sessions, hit enter, and then it's going to switch me to that tmux session instantly. Uh, and so that's this command here. Uh, it's super helpful. You can see it's just using the tmux with session command doing some formatting and then piping this into FCF to fuzzily find um, the one that I want. And then it's just going to switch into that session that I've selected. Now, the next one on the list is this IPython um, command, which is again what I showed you a minute ago, but I have this bound to control P just because it's something that I do kind of often. And so I'd like to have it bound. Um, but moving on, we have one of my favorites, which is opening up RMPC. And if you've seen the video on my channel about this, you'll know that this is the music player that I use. And so here I'm able to just pull up a pop-up window. I can see my queue. I can go ahead and find an album, queue it up, um, and make any manipulation to my queue. Super nice to be able to do this uh, just super quickly. Uh, and so I'm constantly using this one. Uh, and if you're using RMPC, definitely try this out because I think it's super helpful. Now, moving on, we have this next one, which is going to open up uh, my file explorer of choice, which is Ranger. And so if I do control R, this is going to pop up a um, floating window with a file manager that I can use here, which is super nice just to be able to quickly uh, navigate around, move files around and so on. Now, the next one I have is another one that I use all the time. And so all this is going to do is open up my ZSHRC file in NeoVim. And so if I do control Z, then you can see I have this here and I can go ahead and make a quick change. And then if I want to, I can save that change. Of course, I won't save this change, but super helpful just to have this at your fingertips because you know, you're always making changes to this file. So it's helpful to have this one. 
Um, and now this, uh, the second to last one here, this control G binding, you can see this is just going to execute a bash script. And this is something that I wrote. Um, and it's just a simple script that's going to use the GPT-4 command um, to ask ChatGPT questions. And I've also made it conversational. And so what this looks like is I can ask a question. It's going to, again, use the GPT-4 command. You can see here's the response that GPT gave me. And then it's conversational as well. So I can ask it to say this more simply, please. And it's going to do that. So the other feature that I have here is if I give it a blank response, then it's going to say I could press any key to close the window. Or if I press C, then it's actually going to copy the, the latest response uh, to the clipboard. And so here is what ChatGPT gave me. Let me make that a comment so it's more legible. But you can see it's copied um, to my clipboard exactly everything that ChatGPT said. Uh, and so that's super helpful to have sometimes. Um, and so more of the story here being it's very simple to set up any script you want and have this be called by the display pop-up command. And then again, you can set this up with a key binding just for quick access. And so the last one I have here is this control T key binding, which is the simplest of all. And all this is going to do is open up a shell where you can do, you know, whatever you need to. And the only other modification I have here, um, if I exit this, is this dash D flag, which is going to specify the directory that the terminal should open up to. And so here I can get whatever the path is for my current Tmux pane, and then it's going to open up a new shell at that location. So um, all in all, you can see these just make up a ton of, you know, frequently used utilities that I want to have at my fingertips. And so um, it's super helpful just to be able to enter all of these and not have to create, you know, a whole new session here just to be able to do a quick one-off command. And so you might find other use cases for this. If you do, I'm interested to hear them down in the comments. Um, but before I close out the video, one last thing that I'll say is there's actually a little bit more you can look into if this is interesting to you. And so if you do display dash and hit tab to let Tmux auto complete, you'll notice there's also the display menu command. Um, and there's also display message. Uh, this is like going to send a push notification almost. So if I select this and just say hi, you can see it's just going to give you a notification. Um, but this could be useful to you know have hooked up to some sort of event. And finally, the display menu I've set up here um, to be able to access dot .files quickly. So this is something I'm just now messing around with, but I'll let you know if I come up with some useful stuff here. And let me know if you do. So that is all I have for today. Um, but hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you found something useful here. And thank you for watching.